Hey Gemini, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. What messages do you have for Gemini when it comes to love and romance from now to the next couple of weeks? What messages do you have for Gemini? Ooh, the devil, Gemini. Let me let me start off by saying this. It's the devil and the page of swords, okay? Now, you're dealing, first of all, there's a lot of fixation around you right now. There's people that are watching you. There's people that are stalking you. There's people that you don't even realize that are paying attention to you. For some of you guys, there, there, there is an energy where there's somebody that wants to be you. It's like this person is studying you. They're very fixated on you because they want to understand why you have what you have. I don't know why, and I know that this is taking a major weird turn, and I'm just going to say this. There's somebody here that's been watching you because I feel like they're confused. There's somebody here that's watching you because right now, Gemini, you're coming in as somebody that has a lot to offer. You're coming in as this very stable boss type of energy where you run shit. Like I said what I said, this is what I'm doing. And I feel like there's somebody here that is confused. There's somebody here that's sitting there saying, you know, I don't understand how they're able to do it right? How are they able to maintain everything? How are they able to be so positive? How are they able to do what they're doing? There's somebody here, Gemini, that's very, very focused. There's somebody here that has a lot to say to you, but that they've pulled back. Also, if you guys are dealing with somebody, right? An energy where you and this person are not talking a lot, there it's because there is some type of third energy in here that's causing drama, that's stirring the pot here, that, that, that wants to create unnecessary chaos. Now, this person can be a friend. This person can be a sister. This person can be a mother. This person can be a significant other or a third party energy. Nonetheless, this person has been saying things about you. There's been a lot of lies that were said about you, Gemini, about who you were, what you have to offer. And what's crazy here with this page of swords is there's a lot of talk pertaining to you, right? And there was a lot of lies that were said about you because whoever this other energy is that your person has been talking to, that your person has been dealing with, they're very nosy. They're all up in this person's business. They want to know what your person is doing at all times. They want to know who are you talking to? Why are you talking to them? Because this person does know Gemini when they do communicate with you. Because when your person communicates with you, their face lights up. This person knows when your energy is present around them. And I feel like your person or whoever you're dealing with right now, they're having a level of clarity with who you are. They're finding out the truth. There's a level of enlightenment, right? They're receiving some type of information here that is almost making them fall in love with you all over again. It's making them respect you. It's, it's, there's something that's being highlighted right now pertaining to you in this situation where you're being viewed right now is very stable, very loving, very caring, right? Family oriented, emotional. You're being viewed as somebody that is a caretaker. You're being viewed as somebody that is very, very feminine right now. For the masculine, you're being viewed as a masculine energy, but it's coming in where you're emotionally intelligent, right? I also feel like for some of you guys, your person is very focused and fixated on you. They're watching you like a hawk. They're checking your social media. They're watching everything that you're doing because there's this level of fixation here. What are they so fixated on? You. You are theirs. If you and this person are not talking, they're for sure stalking you. They're for sure wanting you. They're waiting. They want to have this conversation with you. Because with this energy coming in, this devil and this strength, it's an energy of your mind, right? Think about that Leo energy. That Leo has that very possessive type of energy. I like the energy of a little bit of possessive energy because it's like, show me that you want me. There'll be somebody in the comments that takes it off, 
you know, takes us sideways, but I don't really give a fuck. The reality is this person wants you. There's a level of fixation around you right now, Gemini, because you're very grounded. This person is watching you succeed. This person is watching you step into this newfound stability. They're not just sitting here looking at you as somebody that says something. They're actually seeing you for somebody that says something and then does it. You walk the walk and you talk the talk. That's the difference right now. Not only are they emotionally invested in you, not only are they physically invested in you, but they're watching you and they're watching you be very regal right now. They're watching you step into this period where they're looking at you in this realistic manner where you've increased your, your net worth with them just by being stable, just by being resourceful, just by being grounded because there's something going on in this person's life right now, Gemini, where they need you to be as grounded as possible right now. I don't know if there's chaos going on in their life. I'm not exactly sure. Whatever it is, whatever this person has been watching you very innately, very closely, they have clarity right now that you are their queen of pentacles. They have clarity right now that, you know, they want to move forward with you. That there's this communication that's going back and forth here where... It's very open, it's very positive, it's very fast, it's very fast moving, right? I'm also getting the sense where, for a lot of you guys, this person doesn't want to lose you. This person may feel like you have a lot of attention on you right now, especially with the devil and the queen of pentacles, where you're very much in your bag, you're very focused on your self-worth, focused on building a legacy for you and yours, and I feel like with this person, all of a sudden, they're like, I want to move forward. I have to take a level of action here. This Eight of Wands for me, even though that's Mercury and Sag, there's something unexpected because Mercury and Sag, it's very quick communication, right? It's also karma. So, and I feel like it's positive karma. This is quick moving. This person is getting ready to take some type of major action towards you very quickly because they feel like time is running out time is of the essence here and they want this renewal for some of you guys they want to have children with you they want to move quickly though because they they it's like this second chance at love you feel like home i feel like there's something very beautiful about you right now that's blossoming this person is watching it. They're watching you bloom. There's a lot of aces here, right? So there's aces and eights. Um, change, organization, communication, emotional elevation. There's a lot going on where I feel like this person is communicating their feelings. This person wants to open up to you. This person wants to express to you how they feel about you, what you mean to them. For some of you guys, this person wants to apologize and say, you know what? I messed up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I betrayed you. I'm sorry that, you know, when you were sitting here making me offers, when you were sitting there being good to me, when you were sitting there just trying to get me to do the right thing and I turned my back on you, I'm sorry. But the one thing I can say here is that this person is very determined on making this right with you. This person is very determined on communicating, on allowing you to know what exactly they're feeling, what exactly they're thinking about, what exactly they want from you. Because guess what? Judgment is here. And I always say that with judgment, the judgment card to me, especially for those of you guys that do do tarot, the judgment card to me is coming in as like aliens are dropping out of the sky, right? We all know it's coming, but we don't know when they're coming. But these motherfuckers are here. What are we going to do? This is this person right now. They're realizing your person is realizing with this judgment energy what they've done. For some of them, they can't forgive themselves for this level of betrayal because this person is finally having this sense of clarity on, wow, Gemini was actually being very honest. There was a level of purity to, Gen or to Gemini that was overlooked because this person allowed people to get in their head. This person allowed people to have their opinion come in and dictate 
whether or not this person felt like it was worth moving forward with you. But what this person is realizing is that these people that were in this person's head communicating pertaining to you, it was jealousy. Can't hate from outside the club. That's the reality, right? And for me personally, Gemini, Geminis have this energy where when you walk into an area, you automatically attract people because of your energy, because there's this level of purity, because your intentions are pure. I'm not saying all Geminis are like this because we do know there's some evil ass Geminis. In fact, I know a couple of evil ass Geminis that think they're Gargamel and think they're, you know, over here like um, trying to whip up potions and Smurf shit in order to try to control people. I'm not talking about those kind of Geminis. I'm talking about the Geminis that operate from a soul space. I'm talking about the Geminis that operate from a sense of morality. That's what this person is realizing. This person is realizing that whoever they decided to choose over you, that they're evil, that they're toxic, that they're negative, right? This person is having this major judgment moment on themselves and they're asking themselves, can I be strong enough in order to make some type of major move towards them? Like I said, King of Cups, now you have the King and the Queen. This is an emotional affair. This is an emotional situation that's pulling at your heartstrings. And I feel like with this judgment, this person is finally having a sense of emotional and mental clarity where their secrets are starting to come to light. Their emotions, how they feel about you, it's starting to come to light. This person all of a sudden has this energy where they feel that they need to protect you. Hold on, that just turned up hella loud. And I don't know where the remote is. Hold on, Gemini. Well, I guess we're gonna have to rock out with it because I don't know where the remote is. But this person is stepping in here with this energy where they want to protect you. They don't want to hurt you. They don't want to hurt you anymore. They know that they have some secrets and be ready, Gemini, because secrets are going to be coming to light here. More is going to be revealed over a period of time because you're not budging. You're in your Queen of Pentacles energy. So it's this energy of let the best one win. Whoever wants to step forward, whoever wants to do the right thing, you're open to it. But I also get that whoever you're dealing with right now, this Emperor and the Eight of Swords, you have them in their head pertaining to this connection, the twin flame connection, right? This person doesn't understand it because they've never felt the way that they feel about you. So it's confusing to them. It doesn't make sense. There's this sense of it. Um, you know, I always say like the nine of swords or the eight of swords to me is anxiety, right? It's worrying about what's coming, worrying about what you don't know. Nine of swords to me is regret. It's thinking about the past. It's depression. This person is scared about what's coming for the future. This person is very fixated. They're scared. They're worried that you're not going to talk to them. They're worried that their hands are tied and that they're not going to be able to move in the manner that they want to move towards you. The problem is, is this judgment is here with this person to provide them with the clarity that they need in order for them to move forward. But whoever you're dealing with, with this emperor energy, they want to be in complete control. They want to know every step that they're making. Is this the right step for me? Right? This is somebody, you may be dealing with somebody that has a business, that has a family, that's in the limelight. Like there's something about this person where it's not as easy as you think it is for them just to move. Whether that's past situations, whether that's certain toxins or addictions or, you know, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, whatever it may be, when it does come to this person, that's what holds them back. What is the judgment on the world? They received some type of information. This person has seen something. This person has seen something for what it is. See, here's what I think, Gemini. I feel like your person, it, they can't lie to themselves anymore. I feel like whoever this person is, they, they, they've lied to themselves for a period of time. They've told themselves it's something it, it is when it isn't. 
And I get for a lot of you, there is somebody brand new that's coming in here that's gonna sweep you off your feet, but you're gonna be in your head about the connection because it's gonna move very quickly. And you're gonna feel guilty for moving on from whatever other energy there is here because I do get that, Gemini. I feel like you're entering into a partnership very quickly and it's gonna be extremely unexpected. With this unexpected, you're also going to have a lot of communication coming in. With Mars in retrograde, I think it's in I think it's in Gemini too. That's crazy energy. Mars in Gemini to me is crazy, right? That's how you take action. You sit there and you spin on it. I know a lot of people that have a Mars in Gemini and that's a rough placement in my opinion. Because you can be your greatest enemy or your uh like like you 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 can be your own worst enemy in some sense with this Mars and Gemini right now in reverse, because there's a lot of people that are saying things, things that they've repressed, things that they've held back, but now you see they're deep in their thoughts, they're deep in their head, where do we go from here? How do we move forward, right? Jupiter, expansion. They're thinking a lot more about this possibility of you being their twin. They're thinking a lot more of submitting to a relationship, of giving to this divine, of giving to this life purpose, because they're having these downloads, this world, this worldly energy, where all of a sudden they're starting to see things clearly. They're starting to look past the 3D. They're starting to look past this physical, and they're starting to see something much, much deeper, a higher purpose, right? They're learning a lot of lessons. There's something here with this person where they feel like they're learning a karmic lesson. And this lesson may come because you're very quiet. This lesson may come because there's a sense of soul searching that needs to happen here where this person had to take a pause and ask themselves what is important to them. Love. Love is important to them. You are important to them. You mean the world to them. Union, harmony, reconciliation. You and this person are best friends. The problem with this situation is, in my opinion, there's been a lot of confusion. I think that you've been made an option on more than one occasion. I think that for some of you guys, there's a lot of spell work that's being done here with this devil energy. I feel like you have somebody here who's tried to manipulate the outcome on more than one occasion. You have somebody here who's played a lot of mind games, who's been very deceptive, who's tried to push you to this point where you've questioned yourself. You've questioned who you are. You've questioned your worth. You've asked yourself, is this a situation that's worth it? Do I just need to walk away and say, fuck it, I'm good? And by you, Gemini, by this person playing these games, it's that energy like you play me, you play yourself, right? It's this energy where you're playing to win. All you had to do was play fair and you would have won me. All you needed to do was be honest. But it's like this person can't help it because this is how this person has operated. And again, I feel like there's another energy here in the background that is taking place on manipulating certain things here. There's somebody here that's manipulating certain outcomes pertaining to love. And I feel like right now, Gemini, it's too, it's too much. You're teaching them a lesson. I love you, but I will walk away from you if you're not ready to commit. If you're not ready to give me what I want, that's fine. Because you have a lot of self-love for yourself. You understand your worth, right? you're ready for complete happiness. And anything that's not making you happy, you're letting it go. And you're really focusing on this sun energy. You're focusing on your own success. You're focusing on things that need to be let go of in order for you to move forward. This is a very high vibrational energy where it's very inspirational, but it's also shining a light on the truth. Who is the devil in this situation? It's not you, Gemini. In fact, you've tried to tell this person on numerous occasions, yo, this person does is, is wrong. This person, you know, has ill intentions towards you. This person is this, whether it's a friend, whether it's a family member, whether it's somebody that this person deals with. Gemini, you've tried to warn this person on more than one occasion about who this person is. You've waited for this person 
to 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 come forward and say and, and say you know what i know exactly what you're saying but this person will never give you that communication but here's what's crazy it's painful for this person not to be with you it's painful for this person not to see you and this person is beginning to realize that they made a mistake they made the wrong choice here and they're having to reap the repercussions of their actions that's that judgment card you fucked up you made your decision to lay in bed with the devil so now these are your repercussions that's why this person knows that's why they feel guilty that's why they're over here like damn what am i gonna do the fact gemini also that you're so independent you don't need them that ups that scares them this is somebody with that emperor energy that's used to controlling people. This is somebody who's used to being very dominant. This is somebody who's used to being put on a pedestal because they have everything. So they may deal with people that have less than you, that have less than them in order to increase their uh, ego. So when it comes to you, Gemini, you don't need this person. You have this energy of, I love you, I want you, but I don't need you. That is scary because that person doesn't have control, right? People control with finances. People control people with money. People control people with certain things. But when they can't control you with materialistic possessions, they have to come to you and they have to be their true authentic self because that's the only way that you're going to accept them. You don't give a shit what they have. You don't care what they look like. You don't care about any of that. Are you a good person? Yes or no? Are you a team player? Yes or no? Are we doing this? Yes or no? I get an energy right now, Gemini, with that 10 of wands, where you're like, I'm leaving with or without you. Hop on the fucking funky train or get the fuck off because I'm on my way, right? I'm in the party bus and I'm about to have a good time. Now let's see things from their perspective, okay? And if you haven't already, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. What what is this person? How do they view their current romantic situation with Gemini? How does how does Gemini's person view their Ace of Wands? Like I said, for some of you guys, this is a renewed type of energy. For some of you guys, this is a brand new energy, but they feel like there's a lot of success that's coming with you. There's a new start that's opening up. And I feel like it's because this person has been fantasizing about this new start with you or fantasizing about moving with you, moving forward. What is this person's energy? What is their overall energy? There's a new start coming, Gemini. Just wait. Even if you and this person are not talking, it's coming. It is coming because here's the thing. You have their heart. And that is going to conquer any type of storm, any type of negativity. Love conquers all. That's why they have those Disney movies where the only way, you know, the negativity or the magic breaks is with a sense of true love. And it's because true love conquers all, in my opinion. I know that that sounds cheesy and I know that I probably sound like, you know, Snow White, but I really do believe that. I really, truly, in my heart, in my soul, I believe that you and this person have the ability to go the long haul. But you can't do it on your own. You can't have this person lying anymore, being deceptive. You want this person to be honest. What is this person viewing as their, how do they view their role in the relationship with Gemini? They're in deep thought. Three of Pentacles. This person wants to work on things. This person wants to see, okay, I'm ready to put the work in now. I'm ready to collab. I'm ready to, to, to do what I need to do in order to succeed. For some of you guys, this person also may be in a third party situation. Maybe with somebody at work. They may be in a situation where they're trying to figure out how to get out of it. And how do they view Gemini's role in the romantic situation with them? So this person is very determined to succeed with you. The two of cups, the love of their life, their soulmate, their divine counterpart. You're their best friend. They love you. They can tell you things that you get them. There's something about this energy where you understand them. You understand their role. You understand their place. 
And what is stopping this person from truly committing to Gemini romantically? The Knight of Swords. It may be a Gemini. Another Gemini that's here, but I also think it's communication. I think that this person has to open up. I think that this person has to be honest and they have to be confident to come forward to you and say to you what's going on. What is this person, what, what, what is this person, what can't they stop thinking about when it comes to Gemini? Death? They're scared that you're done. They're scared that it's over. They're scared that you're no longer going to accept this page of sword, page of wands energy. It's no longer this energy of, okay, it's very sexual. Okay, it's very immature. There's something here where they're saying, I have to change. This is a death of, of an ego. This is a dark night of the soul type of transformation, in my opinion, where it's a new beginning. And it's an unexpected change that this person is thinking about. And it's something that's changing their life forever. What is this person's next action towards Gemini romantically? Okay, it's the Five of Swords reverse. I kind of like that energy. I feel like this person is going to be honest about something that was happening. I feel like this person is done playing games with you. I feel like there's a level of honesty that's coming here. For some of you guys, um... I think that it's a lot of secrets that are going to be exposed and this person wants to talk to you about, you know, the truth, right? The truth here in order to work on things. And what is their intentions when it comes to Gemini? What is this person's intentions when it comes to Gemini romantically? The Queen of Pentacles. They want you to be theirs. They want to marry you. They want a serious relationship with you. They don't want to be left out in the cold. They want you to be theirs. They, 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 they want to be able to come in here and say to you, you know what? I got you. Because you've held shit down for them for a period of time. And what, what can Gemini expect from now to the next couple of weeks with this person? What's coming in for these two romantically? Wow. Wow the king of pentacles gemini holy cannoli there's going to be a lot of surprises coming in here for you i'm getting that there's going to be multiple surprises there's multiple things that you're not expecting there's i feel like it's weird it's going to be like one thing after another i'm picking up and i'm not trying to go into this and by the way all of this is going to be available in the extended and the extended is available on Vimeo or Patreon. The link for that will be in the comment section below. You don't have to purchase the extended, but if you want to understand what's coming forward, so you have a better idea with the way that this person is thinking, this is about their thought process. What are they thinking about? Even if they're stonewalling you, even if they're not communicating with you, even if they're not expressing themselves, you can understand their emotions here and the way that they're thinking. Because if you understand the way that they're thinking, it can allow you to adjust your approach with them because with this person, you have to have a certain approach. But there's a lot coming in here and there's definitely some type of wish fulfillment with this person. Now, with that being said, this is your reading. Um, if you wanna book a personal reading, you can check out my website, aaftarot.com. If you guys wanna pick up these cards, they're available on Etsy and also spiritualinfusion1111.com. With that being said, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your love and support. It honestly means the world to me. And I just wanted to say to you, if you're going through something major right now and you're stressed out, just wait. Just wait, Gemini, because you have no idea what this major nine of cups is coming. And it's coming out of the blue. It's coming out of nowhere. And I feel like there's a lot of success and blessings and abundance that are coming to you because you've operated from this heart space and because you've been a good person. And I truly believe that the universe, God, whatever you believe in, they always bless people that are good to others. You do unto others as you want done to yourself. And I feel like you're about to reap these benefits and these rewards. That being said, I love you guys. Till the next time. Peace out, Girl Scout.